Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to create bouncing objects on a landscape using Dynamics in Cinema 4D. First of all, we need to apply a landscape to our scene and make it tall around 250 uh, centimeters. Also, make it maybe 300 to 300 segments, but you can play around with the settings you want. So I'm going to apply a material and import import a texture. I can put the link below where I got these uh, textures. Okay, and I'm gonna apply also a normal map. Okay, I reduce a little bit the specular and in the tag I'm gonna put it cubic. Okay, so this is fine for now. So the landscape is gonna be our collider body. So uh, right click on the landscape, go to simulation tag and choose collider body. Now we need the actual balls. So let's create the balls by going to sphere and maybe make it a little smaller and bring it up. Okay, so let's apply material to the sphere as well. You can choose your favorite color gonna choose this not my favorite color but some yellowish will look nice and I will apply also some luminance just to give a little bit light to the scene kind of like this color yeah okay so this is fine for now and this is gonna be our sphere, so we need to make it icosahedron type. And go to MoGraph and apply a cloner. Bring the cloner up, 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 up. You can see that you can go back with the view and rise the numbers. And now we need to apply also an effector, maybe step or effect random it's okay we will just zero these out and maybe play around just with one x it's fine you can play around also with x and z but yeah now let's scale it down to uniform scale something like 0.5 something a little bit like so that they look different Okay, so now I think we are ready with this and we are gonna apply to the sphere a uh, simulation tag soft body. So let's see what happens now when we press play. As you can see, they are not really touching the ground, right? So what we need to do now is go into the collider body and go to dynamics, actually collision, sorry, and in shape change it to static mesh so now it's actually touching the ground yeah we did it and what is left here it's just to maybe make it a little bit smoother applying a subdivision surface to the cloner so it doesn't look so geometric and let's apply also physical sky and a floor and uh, let's bring the floor as well like because now it's in zero our landscape is zero so I'm just bringing it down and not taking too much time to work the visual part of this and anyway now we go to soft and soft body and I'm gonna reduce the structure it's actually looking good but let's see let's play it and see what happens so as you can see they are bouncing on each other that means we need to kind of rise the distance between them maybe 400 is too much let's see first we have one actually we need to go to soft body and maybe put structural 60 no this is gonna be the opposite i think so 120 let's see what happens Okay, now they are more solid, are they? Doesn't look to me. Let's try 150. Nope. Let's try 50 then. And see what happens. 
okay okay to me it looks kind of the same so let's break these up okay and also in the factor it's good to kind of give distance to each other first it's also that they come like it works like gravity so oh yeah we need to change the gravity okay so command D I should pause this pause yourself pause I'm sorry sorry guys okay mm. oh my god it's exploding okay so now I have done command D and I'm in the project settings and I'm gonna reduce the gravity I completely forgot I'm gonna put it to 50 centimeters let's see if it's too slow it's a little bit too slow let's put 150 Yeah, now it looks so much better. And now we can reduce actually this distance. Put 200. Let's see how it looks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's rise this up. And let's. I like when they interact with each other so I think this is nice and I'm gonna render this out so I'm gonna leave uh, I'm gonna put a camera and I'm gonna leave it like this actually I want some shadows so yeah oh yeah, let's apply something to the floor I'm just gonna put this but you can work your own scene anyway now we go to the render settings and in the render settings let's choose physical render and apply ambient occlusion and global illumination global illumination I'm gonna put just an exterior physical sky preset which have medium record density and you can also do your custom one and uh, ambient occlusion I think I'm gonna leave this as default and I will do low for now the sample quality mostly because it's gonna take a long time to render this scene and um, I'm also going to choose these settings but if you want to export it in nice resolution you can just type these numbers but I'm gonna leave it like it was and let's first see how one frame looks and we're gonna see how it looks something like here let's see so yeah I've done something already as you can see it will kind of look like that and it look really nice and I like that it kind of touched the ground and if you go quite close with camera it can really follow uh, the furrow, furrows? Are they called furrows? Furrows, what's the name? Furrows, furrows, the furrows of your landscape. But yeah, so let's see how it's our. It's looking really good already, right? So now I'm gonna cut here the video and I'm gonna render and let's see what it's gonna happen. So this is the result of our rendering. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it has been useful in some way. Please comment and give any suggestion if you know some better way to do that. And thank you for watching.